super long awaited pen torque versus pen fathom. I have both 60 LD2s. These are the two speed version reels. I have one in silver and the fathom, which is a standard color. This is a, look at that. It's still sealed right there. Right there. So torque and fathom. Let's take a look at both of these. So standard things, um, these clamps is exactly the same between the two that comes with them. If you see here, same exact clamp. So nothing really different between the two. Here's the Torque 60 and the Fathom 60. At the time of purchase, I got this for 600 and this one for 299, $300. Um, currently with inflation, you're looking at about 330 now, I believe, and 620 for this one. Is it worth the price is our question because they're both very identical and what you're getting is half the price for ideally the same amount of drag, line capacity, pretty much the cheaper model of this, right? And we're gonna compare the two and see how they look like between the two. Right off the bat, we're gonna note that this is all cast aluminum on the frame and this is CNC machined aluminum on the frame here. I don't know about the internals. Um, I'm not familiar with it. But I do know that the torque is assembled in the U.S. Does that mean that the parts are made in the U.S.? I really don't know. And while this is completely made and assembled in Asia. So let's look between the two. And first off is the handle that we can see. I mean, other than the color, they're pretty much identical. Same amount of curvature, same thickness at four millimeter. Um, all we're seeing is the color between the two, which is silver. And this also comes in gold, right? And I know that many of the parts here are inter interchangeable with the Fathom, but not all of it. And that only goes up into the handle um, right here that will be interchangeable to this, plus the knobs for the, the, the lever drag. Other than that, everything else looks very different between the two. Um, already looking at the frame, you can see the design between the two. You'll see very similar, but not exactly the same because this does have a top bar and it does have trolling hooks right here that collapses into itself while the torque has none of that. So on the next part is the side plates. We'll see that they both have same four screws. One uses star hex while the other uses Phillips on the Fathom. I do have other Fathoms and they don't have Phillips. What they have is just a flat screw head. So it's kind of intriguing. I'm, I'm just curious if it's just what's available in parts on the other side of it. The drive side. I'm gonna see four screws on the torque and five on the fathom. One note here is if you look at the lever, the torque is a little bit longer. It goes past the circumference, uh, the radius. If you see my finger right here, my thumb, it goes past it while on the fathom, it's, ex it's perfectly flush. Are these interchangeable? We'll find out too. So we note that the side plate is already different between the two. Um, you can see that the, the screws, so these definitely will not be interchangeable. On the motor gear side, that covers this plate here is it's an aluminum plate. And guess what on <laughs> the Fathom, uh, we've seen this before, it's plastic. I know this, I, I saw this on the 40 and on my Star Drag. What I like about the Fathom is they have this drilled out hole here on both sides. Uh, let's see if I can get a perfect angle. Here we go. So you can wrap it through here and come back on this side, tie whatever knot you feel super confident about and you're good to go. That braiding is not going anywhere. And what do you have to do if you don't have that? You just have this knurled and you might want to put some type of tape backing, mono backing, something to keep it secure. Um, that's one difference there. Already on the spool, I, I know that the free spool, I ran that right there. Between that and the Fathom, this one does go pretty nice, but they're both equally pretty decently well. So let's start removing some of the parts here. Uh, I brought my star hex key tool and the size is T10H that I'm using. Probably would be much easier with a power tool. I'm going to go and get that right now. Uh, 
All right, here's the two right here. So I believe this one here on the torque is something like four millimeter and this one is about double eight millimeter. That doesn't make a difference on the strength of it. It's just keeping a slimmer profile and that explains it on this. So they both would not be interchangeable because of that. But I mean, it looks almost identical. You can see the flat head screws on this one and Phillips on this side. You see also where the top bar is. There's those two screws right there on my index finger on my right hand. That's for the top bar of this to keep it secure in place. Is it needed? I really don't know. I wouldn't want to test this reel without it. But you know, like if you look at the 40N, same cast material doesn't have it, but it is much more narrow. Let's take apart the drivetrain of this. I'll start off with the Fathom. go there we go that caps off okay take a look at this drive plates the gears now let's do the same for the torque Whoa, okay, a little bit of difference there. Let's take a look at the spool. The drag plates, only the drag plate is in the fathom, but in the torque, it's enclosed in a case. And this ex is exactly how the Talica is made. The Talica, the drag plates are inside of an enclosure so you have to open everything out to see the felt washers just like how now this one is more exposed just like the star drag versions two differences already um already between the two you see there's a little bit more thickness on the wall of the torque versus um the fathom gear side can you see the difference between the two And looking at the main gears, you know, when you look at the main gear between the two, having the holes is to reduce the weight. Um, dogs thickness are pretty much identical. But one thing to note is how the dogs are being supported. What I mean by that is, it's hard to see. I'm gonna bring it all up. C and C, this whole plate is a complete L. If there's a frame around it, if you can see that, there's this frame that looks like an L shape. And that means these dogs have no reason to back off, right? If it locks in, it's gonna go in and it'll stay there. And if it has no more pressure to go back. It's like a pretty thick wall. I'm talking about looks like two millimeter CNC aluminum wall. Now, if we look at the Fathom, it's actually one single stem. If you see them, it's hard, it's hard to see. There's nothing else besides the stem right here. And then right on the bottom side, there's this little wall up to about this part right here. So the screw and maybe about, looks like maybe about three millimeter length of a wall and that wall is even then much more thinner too. We're, we're talking about a millimeter approximately on that wall on the bottom side and the stem, the stem is still a little stout, right about mm, two and a half millimeters. The pattern ratio of this is alternating, alternating dogs, if you guys know what that means. So they are both not in sync when they stop each other. So one stops first and then the other one will stop a shorter distance. Same thing, alternating. But 
is to see if I could fit this in here. Look at that. Upgrade your Fathom with a torque lever just to give yourself about maybe like, what is that, half an inch of length. No, and you do need the spool to go in, but I know that this would fit in there. So looking at the frames between the two, just kind of admiring between the, the both of them. I mean, they're very similar, but so different from each other that definitely the frames are not interchangeable. But there you have it. Here's the pen torque and the 60 LD2. Honestly, the way you got to look at it is how much fishing are you going to do? If you're going, if you're the type that's just, you know, random seasonal, I think the Fathom would do more than enough. If you love your long range and dedicated to it, you just want peace of mind that something will work on you all the time and you wouldn't have to worry about something like, you know, I think these would still work. It's just, it's just up to you on that point, right? Like, do you want a little bit more higher quality at the end of the day? Very nice stuff. I'll put them back together and that's it guys. You're looking at between the two and they're very, very similar to each other. Um, by face yet so different, but yeah, this is a torque double the price versus the fathom. Would it be worth it? That's all up to you. Enjoy guys. Thank you. Let's talk about the similarities internally for both of these reels. The most important one is that they both use stainless steel main and pinion gears. It's a good peace of mind that the Fathom uses this, especially when you're reeling in the bigger grades. We did notice on the teardown that the Fathom did have the main gear drilled out. We know it reduces weight, but curious if it reduces its strength. Next is a multi-stop double dog anti-reverse. When we looked at the dogs for the anti-reverse, we saw that they alternate when engaged instead of in sync. Lastly is a pen trademark Dura drag system. It's made in the USA and both the Torque and the Fathom uses it. These three items alone are what makes the Fathom series a great budget reel. So now to the differences. Lots of specs to cover here with the obvious being the CNC machine frame versus a die cast aluminum frame. A note is that the Torque is anodized versus painted on the Fathom. The bonus on the Torque is that it has a sealed covered system versus uncovered on the Fathom. It may not seem like much, but for the long range anglers that puts high stress on their gear between maintenances, it's reassuring to know that a tiny debris getting on your drags is the difference between landing versus fighting a fish. The Torque has one extra bearing over the Fathom and also uses hydrophilic coated bearings versus standard. I'm not a bearing expert and I just put that out there as a notable mention. Both reels have the same 2.5 to one low gear. However, the high gear has a small difference. The torque is 5.1 to one versus the 5.0 to one on the Fathom. Ideally, that means the higher high speeds should have more inches per turn. But from the pen site and another vendor, it shows that the torque has 41 inches per turn versus 42 on the Fathom. One inch may not seem like a lot, but when you're playing with jumbles, every inch gained for the same revolution is crucial. Hey guys, all put back together, everything brand new, working good. Strike, free spool, everything is all working accordingly and really nice. So one thing I noted on the screws here is that the thread is on the, the cap and the inside. So if you screw in, it's not like it's a, like a, a little bit more ported on the, the cap side, same on both sides. So once you thread in, it goes all the way through the same threading. So that means that they tapped it from here on the face to the body. That way it fits in perfectly each one. I, I was kind of worried about that, but that's how it works for this. While these are bored a little bit bigger on the cap side, and then it's threaded on the body. 